All right if I smoke? If you want to. Well. Makes a change. Once you said I couldn't. Once we agreed it was advisable that you didn't. What, what for my sake or, or, or yours? Yours. I thought we once said that lighting up and smoking a cigarette could be a prop or a diversion. Once. You mean it doesn't have to be anymore? I don't know. What do you think? getting any better. No one tells me. If I ask you a question, I get given a question in reply. Well, I, I suppose this is some kind of an answer. In for a surprise, are we? Surprise? I don't deal in surprises. I deal in revelations. One to one therapy. Asked for it. Well, that group stuff didn't work for me. Well, I mean, it couldn't, could it? Not with my job. Well, maybe you didn't allow it to. They wouldn't accept me, would they? How do you know? I just know, that's all. That group had nothing to offer me. And what did you have to offer the group? Nothing. A prison officer who's supposed to have flipped nothing. Like I just arrived from Mars. Nothing. They hated me. I hated what I stood for. Even without the uniform. Well, the ones who weren't just plain bloody curious, did They told you that, did they? They didn't have to tell me. I, I, I'd sensed it. I... So, I want answers from you, right? Am I getting better? Am I being understood? What do you think? Oh, for crying out bloody loud! Good morning, Marion. Morning. Hello, Marion. Hello. Answers. That's all I want. Straight answers. And I don't get them from you. And I don't get them from anyone. And before you can say, I don't get them from myself. Not yet. But I want them, all right? I want answers. Almighty. <laughs> I'd have got a better response from the prisoners at Stone Park.
well. Does she say anything other than the one word, hello? She says yes, no, and thank you. And she has been heard to ask the time of day, according to another patient, that is. So, why isn't she in this ward? Doesn't like it, that's why. Frightened of it? I think so, yes, at the moment. We make her take her meals out here, but she won't speak out here. And we did try to include her in recreational work on the ward, but that didn't work. But in time? Well, <laughs> all things are possible in time. Yes. You don't seem very impressed. Oh, I am up to a point. You expected a full-blooded conversation with Marion Pierce when I opened that door, did you? Not quite. What then? Well, I mean, I can teach a minor bird to say yes, no, and thank you in the space of a few months. But that doesn't prove you can reason with it. A few months ago, as you put it, that girl was in a near catatonic state. Her reticence was not self-induced. It is now. What, like a kind of shyness? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, Dr. Dady, Nurse Moore and I have worked damned hard to get a yes or no and a thank you. I realise that, that, It is Peter. progress. It's been slow, but it is progress. And you still think she should have gone to an outside hospital? Yeah. Well, I don't agree, and you know that. Oh, I know that. The damage to that girl was done after conviction. Part of the damage. Most of it. And in turn, most of that was done here by one of our own officers. She victimised that girl. She assaulted her. Diane Royal. Now, you remember. Yes, I do. And I think it ought to be put right here, on this establishment. <laughs> Peter, you have a weird sense of responsibility, you know. I mean, are you saying the prison started it, therefore prison should finish it? Yes. Well, it sounds reasonable enough to me. And weren't you the person who set the whole ball in motion a few months ago? Yeah. So whatever happened to your interest? Oh, it's still there. Good. And do you know the difference between psychiatric treatment in prison and outside in a national health hospital? No, but I'm sure you'll tell me. Oh, I shall. Outside, more often than not, they tend to forget you at closing time. But not here. If you're a patient here, you are bound to get full-time, undivided attention because this is a very small world. A patient here has nowhere else to go. You don't hey. read during tea. On the wing, you read what you bloody like with your tea. Oh, you're not on the wing. Worse luck. There you are. Nice cup of tea. Thank you. Worse luck. Drinking your tea by yourself. That's what it's like on the wing. Nice cup of tea. I'd rather be sitting alone in a cell than sitting here with this lot. No, you wouldn't, Mike. I bloody would. No, you wouldn't. This is much more social. Social? Oh. Here you are. Nice cup of tea. Are you with us yet today, Muriel, in spirit? Yes, thank you, Doctor. Jill? That's better. Should think so. Oh, sure. Well, it's true. 
She'd starve if it weren't for you lot. I said, sure off. Just because you don't like your own tits. Look, it's nothing to do with you. What, to keep trying to hide them? Who says I'm trying to hide them? All right, all right. Anyway, I thought we'd try some more psychodrama this evening. Oh, no. What is the matter with you today? My God, it's really nice to drop it. Everything's in this Could we have the raft game again, Doctor? Yes, of course, Muriel. Only I like the raft game. It's nice. Here we are. Nice cup of tea. <laughs> Thank you. Would you like a bun, Marion? No. Just the tea. Yes. So, it's the raft game again tonight, is it? Uh, yes. Yes, that's, that, uh, that was Muriel's idea. Oh, good. It's not good. It's bloody silly. I mean, games at our age. Therapy. Games. Stupid games. They mean nothing. Anyway, there's such a thing as surgery, isn't there? What's that got to do with it? Surgery? Oh, yes, cosmetic surgery, but not on the national health. And it costs the earth. All right, then I'll save her. Mm, she's not on about her boobs again, is she? Yes, and in spite of the fact that we've all told her time and again she's a lovely girl with a beautiful figure, so why should she be ashamed of her breasts? Because of what they mean, I suppose. So what do they mean, Muriel? I don't know. I wish I had them. You! <laughs> you wouldn't know what to do with them. You'd lose your balance before you lost your virginity. <laughs> oh, stop it, will you? Well, it's true! <laughs> you don't cow, you're making me laugh. Oh, just look at her! Nice cup of tea, was it? Thank you. All right, if I read now? Yes. Thanks. Oh, oh, excuse me. Do you want to go back to the side ward, Marion? Didn't hear you. Yes. You sure you wouldn't like to stay with the others for a little longer? Just for a change? No. Wait there with that, Hilda. Well, perhaps you'd like to go back to the side ward on your own. I mean, you must know your way by now. Stand on this side, yes, it's, much, it's all right, I can take it out now. What do you do? The back one is. Why don't you stay for a bit? For ten minutes, even? If you don't want to. Go on. You don't have to say nothing if you don't want to. But I mean, ten minutes. 
You could stay for ten minutes. No one deserves to be on their own, do they? A yes, a no, and a thank you? Yes. Oh, and hello. What? And hello. She doesn't say it as often as the others, and you do have to wait a bit longer for it, but still. It's part of the established repertoire. Yes. So, all in all, I am pleased. We are pleased. We? Oui. Dr. Dady, Nurse Moore, and myself. Oh. And the patients on the ward, too, in their way. So, who isn't pleased? Hmm? Well, with the results so far, with the progress. Oh, no one, as far as I know. Well, Charles has a few doubts. He thinks she ought to be in an outside hospital. But then you know Charles. He couldn't get through a working week without having some doubts. If he didn't have them, he'd have to invent them before the weekend was due. It's part of his personality. <laughs> Susan is being diplomatic, leaving well alone. So, it's all running smoothly for you? Yes. No firm opposition? Well, why should there be any opposition? Even Dr. Dady and I agree on this one. Oh, good. Say what you're thinking, will you? Exactly cool. Well, say it anyway. I get bored with signals. All right. Marion Pierce has no friends or relatives in the outside world. No probation officer who cares. So? So, apart from a few easily explained away doubts from Charles Radley, there's no one to question your progress. No one to suggest, say, that this girl could be just an interesting experiment for the psychiatric ward. So, no opposition. The patient is all yours. We are not using Marion Pierce as an interesting experiment. No, oh, all right. So what about you? Me? Whose side are you on? <laughs> no, I've finished for the day. Well, pretend you're not. I think I'd prefer to be like Susan for the time being. Neutral. Kind of. Then may I suggest that as long as you remain neutral, you stop using the word experiment. I don't believe in guinea pigs. Fair enough. We made that girl say something, and in time we will make her talk of her own free will. Make her? Oh, all right, then. Allow her to. Encourage her. Will that do? Yes, because, you see, it has been several months. I know that. And so in several months more, Marion Pierce is going to have to leave here. Go out to no one, to no particular place. I think she'll get by with a yes or no and a thank you. Uh, plus the occasional hello. Stop. We're building a raft again tonight. A raft? Yeah. Captain May's crew of two and some passengers. Care to join us? No. <laughs> hey, are you sure you haven't been on that ward too long? Not long enough. Well, have a good trip. Always do. We're going to start soon. Are you going to come and join us? You can just sit on a chair and watch if you like. You might as well. <laughs> Stuck in here.
You know, I talked to the establishment officer the other day. They hadn't heard from her for some time. There's no real reason why they should have heard, is there? I don't know. He's on sick leave, having treatment. I'm sure we'll hear when the time is right. So why the interest in Officer Royal? I just don't think she should be forgotten, that's all. But who's saying she is? Well, I mean... I mean, perhaps it would have been nice if Peter Mays had led us to another one of his revelations, taken us out of here and shown us Diane Royal, in the same way that he paraded Marion Pierce for us this morning. Diane Royal's not his concern. No. I, um... I suppose it's not possible that the establishment officer could have shunted all of Royal's papers back to the home office, is it? Oh, no, not for that ask, no. Mm. Now, look, I've done my homework on this one. I've read her file. She received a half-sheet report and a reprimand was entered in her record. Do you remember? Yeah. And only the director of medical services at the home office was contacted. No one else. She's on sick leave with full pay. There's no question of a discreet sacking. It's been done before. Yes. It won't be done in my time. What about a discreet transfer? Well, again, not without us knowing. Now, I'll make sure of that. Good. It's just, you know, not having heard from her in all this time, and establishment branch are always so preoccupied with... Charles? She has an address, hasn't she? Officer Royal. Yeah. Would you have her back here? If and when she's better. Yes. to your right, Muriel. Oh, I'm doing this, Doctor. You said I could organise the base. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sorry. I'm... The other way, you silly cow. The other way. That's fine. Anyway, Doctor, you got it wrong. Got what wrong? He said over to the right. Yeah, he did. That's it. It's starboard. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yes. Is there any red port left? Stop it. Yes. Well, once again, I'm sorry. Fine captain you are. Yeah. No wonder we had to abandon the bloody ship. Maybe Dr. Mays ought to walk the plank. Oh, yeah. I'm all for that. Thank you. Oh, honestly, I've got a plan. There's a scaffold board out in the maintenance yard. Oh, that'll do. Come on, girls. Let's get the tops on. You'll have to let go of them, darling. Show the world. Come on, Hilda. Yes, that's all right. Come on, Muriel. All right. Quickly. Well done. OK. Oh, watch it! My my fingers! Oh, the other way! Did Marion join us of her own free will? No. Jill talked her into it. That's fine. She had to do all the talking, though, mind you. She also talked her into staying on the ward after tea. Got to sit back at the table. She said nothing, but at least she sat and stayed. Like she's sitting and staying now? Yes. It's good. It's something. Well, I'm taking the tiller. I'm steering. I thought it was my turn. Well, it's bloody not. Yeah, well, well maybe we should have a mast this time. A mast? Yes, you know, too. Well, why not? Yes. We've never had one before. So? Now's the time to start. Yeah, yes, that's right. So what's wrong? A bit of opposition, possibly. Not from us. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, um... Well, you know what some people are like? Unless they can see progress the way they can see a double-decker bus passing by, they don't believe in progress. Hurry up with them chairs, you two. All right. Uh, yeah, take it. Right. Let's have something up on it. Take that one. About time. The tide's coming in. That's good. <laughs> What's wrong, Mike? <laughs> Because the tide's coming in. I mean, her crazy mind. <laughs> well, it's not really kind of here, is it? No. Here we are. One mast. Oh, lovely, lovely. We've got a proper ship. 
What do you think, Mike? Call that a must. All right then, Mike, you're in charge. Yeah, get the thing going. You want to get the other chairs up there? Can you bring them up? Yes. Jill, quick. Take this one over there. Right. Three over there. Yes, three this side, two there. Okay. We're nearly set up. We can set. short notice. You got the note? Yes, I got the note. And you're not going out? No. Only I don't know what we'd have done at short notice. It's all right, Claire. I'm not going out. I'm staying in. Good. Come to think of it, you never seem to go out of an evening just lately or even during the day, except when you no. go to that place. God knows why they sent you there. never does any good. Oh, I must remember to tell John to fix that permit for you. It's all right. It's not all right. He should have done it. It's just that he forgets. Psychiatric treatment's nothing wrong with you. Never has been. It's made you quite a bloody mouse these days. No wonder I keep thinking you're out. That old chimney breast, he promised to fix bookshelves for you, didn't he? Doesn't I'll remind him about that too. Hide his whiskey till he's done it. That'll teach him the drunken bum. Oh, Diane, I'm sorry about last night. Last night? The noise. Oh, we I brought didn't... a few friends back from the pub. Nice crowd, but they love music. You should have come up, joined in. Well, I... Might have cheered you up a bit. Oh, the kids. Well, Timothy's sound asleep and Jane's still in bed reading. You know what she's like. She'll be asleep within the hour. They've both been fed and they've both had drinks. So right. ignore them, Diane. Yeah, Listen up, but just ignore them. Okay. One of these nights, we're going to take you to a party with us. Get you drunk, find you a fella. Oh, I'll look forward to that. Bye-bye. Do you know, I don't think I'm going to like this party tonight. I think there'll be too many intellectuals there, the male kind. Have you noticed how they all seem to congregate in the kitchen at a party? Eh? Settle like sediment, and you have to ease your way through serious discussions and empty party forecans in order to find a drink or a bottle opener. No, I don't think I'm going to like this party. Well, then why go? Well, you have to go, don't you? Leave this open, then. Oh, yes. See you. So, who's in charge of rations on this trip? Me. You're steering the bloody thing, remember? You can't do everything. Oh, God, oh, stop. stop. I'd like to be in charge of the rations in the water, please. All right, then, Muriel. There isn't much food, and there isn't much water, and there's too many of us, and we're Hang on. We're don't... not ready yet. What are you doing, Mike? I'm looking for a tiller, aren't I? Finish it, Muriel. Excuse me. Right. <laughs> Nearly ready. Oh, come on. Oh, it's got to look right. Do you want some tape? Yeah, please. She's supposed to be therapy, you oh, know, not sure. a bloody game. It's supposed yeah. to be both. I prefer it when it's a game. Won't you join us, Marion? Nearly there. Marion? Yes? I said, won't you join us? Join in with us. No. Thank you. You bloody thing. I'll leave it with no, you. it's got to look right. Mike. Well, it has. I mean, look at her. She looks all right. Strapped up in her own tits. Listen, you. Like the ancient bloody mariner. Now, sit down. You're just being silly. We ought to tie her up to the mast, Doctor. Tie her up. Tie the cow up, bloody tight. Just shut hey. your mouth. Then what would you do? To tie your tits no. then, tied up bloody tight. Could That's you? enough, Mike. A setback? Well, a kind of setback. An echo, if you like. A reminder. Well, one's got to allow for this sort of thing. Expect it, even. Always? So, perhaps you've gone about things in the wrong way. We? Well, all right, then you. Perhaps this girl would have been better off with one-to-one -one treatment. No, I don't agree. 
That can work in some cases, but in my opinion, not in this one. Now, I believe, and Dr. Dady and Nurse Moore agree with me, that group treatment is the right kind of treatment for Marion Pierce. Unless you can think of something else. But then maybe you are thinking of something else. Both of you. An outside hospital, you mean? Yes. Peter, it is something that concerns I us. thought you said you were neutral. No, I didn't exactly All say right, that then, I All right, then, where is the third member of this deadly trio? Sorry? Charles. He's taken the morning off. Uh-huh. Now, Peter, if Miss Clark and I are concerned about the future of this girl... I also I... am concerned. Yes, I, I mean, do you really think she should be thrown in with those other problem cases? Yes. I see you're still carrying that about with you. Well, I don't need pieces of paper to remind me. Oh, that girl was beginning stupid. to take an interest. Until last night, you said. Oh, not just that handful of words. An interest, a positive interest. Until last night. I sensed it. I know it. A turn of the head, a look. I know it. What did we have a couple of months ago? Absolutely bloody nothing. But what have we got this morning? I think we'd better go and see her, don't you? That's our raft. It was very successful last night, so we thought we'd leave it up, try it again today. Successful? For most of us, as a group. The idea is that we sit up on there, all seven of us. We were hoping for it. Still are. Still are. But the raft is due to sink, you see. Sink? Oh, it's not funny. You can call it psychodrama if you prefer it, but to us, it is a raft that is about to sink. Only it needn't sink with, say, just three or four people on board. They would survive. So we have to decide amongst ourselves who has the right to stay on board and who hasn't. It is all a matter of self-value, self-analysis and survival. And it is a question that is never, ever funny. All right, Peter. Hello, Marion. Had your breakfast? More tea. Would you like some more tea? I'll, um, we'll discuss it later. Yes, of course. Why not? I'm sorry. Anything wrong, Doctor? I think we've lost.
And you're not late, you say? No, I'm not late. Only I wouldn't want I, to. I then. usually come early, about 15, 20 minutes early. Oh. I have coffee sometimes, a trolley in the recreation room. I, I drink one cup and I take another one in with me. Oh, well, if you want your coffee, then perhaps I... Well, no, I, I, I don't really want coffee this morning. Staff? No, day patients like me. So, um, how are things here with you? Terrible. So you don't really have to ask any more, Mr. Radley. There's no point. Well, it does. See, that's the one good thing I'm learning in this place. How to give straight answers. How to cut corners in a conversation. How to forget the bull. I'm learning to live without noise. I'm, I'm told it was a prop. I don't like silence. But then again, we can't have everything we want out of life, can we? So I've done away with the noise. And, um, and by doing that, I've allowed the damage done to me to come back and hit me in the face time and time again. And, uh, oh, well, that's what it's all supposed to be about damage from the past from my childhood oh, uh, they've got me punchy on it so it, it, it really doesn't hurt anymore you see and uh, well, that's what it's all supposed to be about so no noise anymore it's like giving up booze a lot of noise in my head of course but that's just me trying to get things together I will get things together. I will make it. I'm sure you will. And that's not bull. How is she? Who? Marion Pierce. Oh, she's, um. Is she getting on a right? Uh, <laughs> even saying things. Getting plenty of attention. Oh, probably getting too much. You can never get too much. Actually, some of us think she might be better off in an outside hospital. No. She's better off where she is. Because it was... Well, I suppose it was I who set the whole thing off in the first place. Yes. My doubts. Someone had to do it. Yeah. Is that why you're here then? What? To apologise for something that you had to do anyway. I just, um, just wanted to come. See you. We hadn't heard and I, well, I, I didn't think you should be forgotten just like that. Do they know you're here? No, I took the morning off. Thank you. Well, I suppose I ought to go in now. Show them I can take it. That's what it's all supposed to be about. asking about her, that I care that in a way she helped me yes I'll tell her that and also also say that we probably won't meet again and by the time I'm fit and well and back at work she'll be well she's gone oh just wish you good luck for me would you yeah I will thank you Uh, may I speak to the director of medical services, please? 
Susan Marshall, Governor Stone Park. I wonder what Marion Pierce has in the way of personal belongings. I'll be in my office. Uh. Oh, Charles! Sorry, can't stop. I've got a message to deliver. Well, I'd like a word. Oh, you'll have to come with me then, won't you? Hey, don't rock the boat! <laughs> if I ever. Hey, Doctor! Just a minute. Never mind about just a minute. You wouldn't say that if you were shipwrecked suddenly, now would you? It is said that a passenger on board the Titanic waited long enough to drink a whole bottle of whiskey before abandoning ship. <laughs> no. And he survived the freezing water, would you believe, because the alcohol kept his body temperature warm. <laughs> hey, I thought you said booze didn't solve problems. Oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> yes. Um, yes, but, uh, Doctor, we always sail in tropical water, warm water. So we do, Hilda. Saved you getting out of that one. <laughs> yes, indeed. Right. Well, may I suggest we try a shipwreck in sub-zero conditions one day and examine Dr. Mays' theory? Yes. Yeah, why not? I'll bet he'll have an answer. Yes, of course he shall. I'll just move over. I'll try and get Enjoy. through you all that. Sorry, I uh, hope I'm not disturbing anything. Well, you are, actually. Only I, um... Well, would you mind if I see Marion Pierce? Well, yes, I would. But I can't stop you. Making up for what you missed this morning. What? She's in the sidewalk. Why well, don't you want to go with him? No. Well, in that case, you'd better get up and there with the rest of us. <laughs> Me? Yes. You'd be an <laughs> ideal candidate. <laughs> up you get, and you won't need that for a start. Right. No excess luggage. Here you are, Miss Clark. Welcome aboard. Now, no, if you go right across there, the I think you'll be right. Marion? Did you hear what I said? I've got a message for you. It's a personal message. No one else knows it except me. It's from... It's from Diane Royal. Yes. Now, you understand the principle, don't you? Well... I... Eight of us on board, but the raft will sink, so four have to throw themselves overboard to save the others. Uh, yeah, well, maybe it should be five this time. All right, then, you? Hilda, five. Yes. The object lesson being who deserves to live and who deserves to die. You've cracked it. Oh, I knew it. Always the first. Well, I'll oh, leave her alone if she wants to be first. She's always bloody first. I think she just does it to draw attention to herself. No. I mean, she was in charge of the rations last night, but she still went over the side first. Daft bitch. Wonder you didn't take the rations with you. Why do you want to go first again, Muriel? Just do. I'm no use to anyone. But you never say why you think you're no use to anyone. How can she when she's always the first one oh, over sure the... Oh, sure off, will you? Muriel? Just no use to anyone. Well, won't you tell us? There's time. No. There's never time. One down, four to go. Well, come on, we're sinking fast. Well, why don't you get off? I haven't thought of a good enough reason yet. Hey, there are two doctors. I know doctors are important, but who needs two doctors, eh? That's a good question. Then why not answer it? Oh, I shall. I think I ought to stay. <laughs> why? Because I'm more experienced. And more set in your ways, me. That is being experienced. Uh, well, I'm a pioneer. Oh, they're useful. Yes, but unpredictable. At least I know I am. So I'll make the supreme sacrifice. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Three to go. She's 
just back as she was. Yes? Saying nothing. Mr. Radley, there are other patients on this ward, and we are in the middle of an exercise. You can either leave now or sit down quietly somewhere until we are finished. Three to go. The water's rising. Well... I suppose you're all right. You've got your ticket. Yes. Do you always get priority? Not always, no. Oh, no, no. I don't think anyone should get priority. Why don't you take a dive? Because I'm scared of living or dying. Both, I suppose. Oh, surely, Why if don't you get off? Me? Yeah? You've had a lot to say for a stowaway. Why should you stay? Yeah, why? Well, well married, I... are you? No. Courting? Not well, well, you must have a man. Surely you get the odd bit now and again. I mean, are you seriously saying there's no men in your life? Not in the way you mean, no. Right, over you go. What? You've passed it. If you don't want it at your age, you must be past it. Oh, now, you. And Listen that's no good to me, either. isn't it? If a bit of a, a treat like, like that. And a patronising attitude. Now, that's not good for a survivor. Not good for the others. That's what I'm. That other damn silly business, anyway. Good. Two more volunteers wanted. Who's it going to be? Hilda? But Charles, I didn't know. Charles, you're staying here. Right, you know, right. 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 don't, don't make it fuss because no, no, it's no, very. Stay here. So, um, who's going to be next? Who's going to be considerate? It's not a matter of being considerate, is it? Chucking yourself in the bloody sea. Hey, perhaps we can draw lots. Not allowed. Easy way out. Yes, that's right. Anyhow, how could you draw lots? State your in. Look, don't you start Clinging again. onto your tits for dear life. Oh. I mean, they're not that important. Just Look. because your dear old dad played with them a few times. Did you, you hear me? Look, you're going to jump overboard, darling. You'll just have to let go of them. I'm staying. Why? Because... Because things have to be put right somehow. I think you should go. And I've just said I haven't thought of a good enough reason. You swear far too much. I reckon that's a good enough reason. Oh! Sharks! Oh, that's very good. went on in there? Oh, it was just a message. In a bottle, if you like. Because I live near the coast and I know. You know what, Marion? Know the sea. Well, I sail a lot. Engine driven craft, I've handled those, but I prefer sailing. And if you think about it, no one really has to throw themselves into the sea. No. No. It's all a question of mathematics and displacement. I mean, they could hang onto the sides of this and it wouldn't affect the weight distribution. Of course. And they'd be floating. Still be with us. All they'd have to do is to hang on tightly. Like this? Yes. And we could take turns in the water. But that would have to be handled very carefully, wouldn't it, Marion? One climbing into the water while another one climbs back on board, you mean? Mm. 
She's right. It is just a question of mathematics and displacement. What the hell's that? Now, why didn't we think of that before? But what does it mean? It means we all have a chance. All of us. And the mast. Well, I'm surprised we haven't tied some kind of distress signal to the top of that. <laughs> It's a good idea. That's just a Now it's a serious We're still overlaid now, but this is only